I'm Pat Dunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So we're in the College of Winterhold, and it, oh, it looks like we have a dragon to face. Okay, so let us summon an ally, and we're going to need to wait for our uh, Magicka to reach in. You'd figure the dragons would eventually figure out that the College of Winterhold is not a great place to uh, hang out. Dragons also seem to really like hanging out... Wait, where is it? Ah, it's still flying around. Dragons love to perch up there. If you can get the timing right, you can interrupt a, uh, a dragon's breath attack with a shout. Which is just about the best thing you can do to hamper their combat effectiveness until much later in the game when you have, uh, have a shout that's particularly tuned to, to fight dragons. Okay. Now the one thing that you have to be careful of with dragons is that If you get too close, then they're going to dart forward and bite you, and that does a lot of damage, and a lot of the time it's going to instantly kill you, so be careful. Now, if, if you'll remember, the reason we're in the College of, uh, or the, the reason that we took this visit to the College of Winterhold is that we want to do some training of one of our, uh, one of our skills. We haven't really picked one yet, it's just if you... If you want to level quickly, then you're always going to want to do the five levelings of some skill. Useful skill, of course, um, whenever you gain a level. And that dragon dropped a glass sword, so we're going to enchant it while we're here. Um, let's put on this thing a I think fear enchantment. Also, it never hurts to enchant pickaxes because uh, when you're picking at rocks, it doesn't actually diminish the enchantment. So that's just a little bit of free uh, free experience for you. And if you decide to sell the pickaxe, uh, all the better. Why are my research materials constant? I gladly share my knowledge with you. I guess restoration is a good thing to uh, spend this stuff on. So you wish to master the arcane art? And we're going to pick up fast, or no, close wounds, and maybe, uh, maybe heal other from her. And let's see, oh, I probably should, should put this amulet of sails on. Once again, take a look. She has Canva. So she's kind of uh, paranoid, but apparently people have been messing with her pretty continually, so maybe it's kind of understandable. Kind of. And we can get a little bit of the, the gold back that we gave her for all that training. Until next time. And, uh... Is there anybody else that we need to talk to while we're in the area? Nope, so we're looking good. So we're going to swing by Winterhold to see if we can sell some of this stuff. Come 
So yeah, when we get our speech skill up a little bit more, we won't need to worry about finding general uh, stores to sell so much. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. But for now, there's no replacement for these guys for getting rid of dragon bones and other uh, things that are not particularly general, uh, generally useful. Oh, we didn't use these yet. We should use these. And we're going to replace fast healing with close wounds, and we want to put uh, heal other in our uh, quick access thing. Problem is now it's gotten big enough to be kind of unwieldy. But that's just one of the uh, the hazards of the game. So we didn't actually sell everything, so we're going to need to go somewhere else to sell some of the rest of our stuff. So let's he head to Windhelm. Just a random collection of stuff. The skull and the pillar are probably the least useful of those. Oh yeah, so that point there is, is true. You can get dog companions and they will join you as, uh, or jog, uh, dog follower, uh, followers, and they'll join you as a kind of third follower, or I'm sorry, second follower after your main one. The problem is that they die pretty easily, and also they are not, they're even worse than humanoid followers in keeping up with you. Okay, so how do you? I never expected all every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for in fact he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. Oh, I want to make weapons and armor for the great storm Oh is this Yes it is. It's moss and I'm allowed to harvest it. Cool. Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragon and I just don't know it. Well that would be an amazing turn of events. Although I guess with the uh, up-and-coming DLC, it's clear that there can be more dragon, uh, more than one Dragonborn at once. So let's see what of our spare stuff we can sell to this guy. But oh, do we have our uh, our sales amulet on? Be good to make sure that we do. Yes, we do. some of his uh, stuff and do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of smithing while we're here. Actually we've bought quite a lot of this stuff. Hermir's become a decent smith. Like to think I had a hand. And let's uh, make ingots out of anything we can here. And uh, now we're going to put on our smithing gear. And I will. 
I'll hopefully be a little bit smarter about how I name this stuff in the future. Could make not an elven shield. Oh, but with leather strips. Yeah, let's get some leather strips. I never expect Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. I have made him a very rich man uh, today. At least for now. Okay. We can actually make more uh, more gilded armor if we want to. And I'm not sure if we can still improve this or not. Let's see. Yeah, we have a extra refined. Looking good. But we can't, uh, okay, skilled armor is a pretty good deal. It goes up to, th ah, steel plate armor, that is the good stuff. That is worth a lot of experience, and let's see if we have the materials that we need to improve it. Yes. Leather strips. Yeah, so people are nagging each other to try and uh, improve the treatment of non Nords in the game because Ulfric is pretty racist. And they're not having a lot of luck. So we're getting some good smithing in. And I think you actually get more experience. Uh, your experience, I think, is based at least partly on how much you improve the value of items. So if you can actually... If you manage to buff... Uh, If you manage to buff your uh, your uh, your crafting skills up with enough um, with enough enchanted items, then I think you get more experience as you uh, as you then do further crafting. So. Let's also see if we can craft anything, uh, anything that'll give us a nice buff to how much we can carry. Side pouch. Now we are going to head over and enchant some of this stuff. Now, unfortunately, yeah, we are a little bit close to that. Uh, so let's see, what exactly are, are we wearing? We're wearing a scaled helmet, I think. Oh yeah, so we're done with, uh, with crafting, so we're going to put on more of a combat-centric. So gilded armor, and uh, we're wearing an elven shield of major blocking. The problem is that we've just crafted some stuff that would be 
great to replace what we have, but we need to actually manage to enchant it up with uh, with the biggest uh, soul gems that we can to actually make it worth worth it. So we're not actually going to be quite as optimal as we could be here. Pouch side left. Are we wearing that? Let's see apparel. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more carrying capacity, which is good. Speak quickly. Come and browse my fine selection. Everything's fresh and delicious. Speak quickly. Yes. You want something from me? I do wish that she would be quiet. thing. Although we are going to keep the shield and we might see if we and uh, this ring. We might see if we can uh, if we can improve on them on the road. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell us. And let's put on our amulet of sails. F, take a look. See, did we have any weapons? Actually, let's. No, there aren't enough pickaxes down there. Okay, we will keep this legendary shield and use it to replace this as soon as we can uh, manage to enchant it. Actually, no, we'll sell the old one and uh, just uh, enchant that when we can. So, I guess that is all we can do for right now. Except we are going to then put the uh, the shield onto our quick access list, and we're going to switch back to our necklace that improves archery. Okay, and now we are going to re return to... Return to Black Reach. So I would think, given how much effort they put into making Black Reach cool, that they would have put more quest content down there. Well, maybe with uh, future DLCs, uh, we'll see a little bit more. I'm not going to count on it, though. It just seems like it's such a cool area to have put so little. Um, Puts a little uh, deep significance uh, into. Well, that, something looks like it's wrong with his eyes. No, they're just not very big. Might actually be a survival trait for a warrior race. So, oh, did we? Yeah, we're down to two, 226 out of 500 something uh, uh, pounds now. So we're actually doing pretty well on that account. I guess if we were really worried we could have dropped off some of this uh, extra smithing stuff that we bought back in our house, but that would have slowed us down quite a bit. Okay, so back in Blackreach, and we will be ready to conjure Atronox, and looks like up, so over there there's a glow, 
It's probably another uh, another one of these plant thingies. And then over to our right, we spotted what looked like another one of those Dwemer uh, statue things. Okay. So let's keep an eye out for mining uh, mineable surfaces. And uh, I hear another one. It's up there. Might as well grab it while we're thinking about it. If I can jump up there anyhow. And it looks like I can. It was somewhere around here. Oh, where was it? I just saw it. Oh, that is an awkward place for it. Anyhow, over here there is one of these Dwemer robots. So let us summon. Oh, and it looks like we've started a fight not with who I thought we'd be starting a fight with. Okay, that is a soul. And there is one of the nasty forms of Karas. Oh! And it poisoned me, and the poison killed me before I uh, finished casting my healing spell. Well, actually, I think I'd finished casting it, but before the healing spell managed to finish healing me. That is irritating. That is really irritating. Anyhow, oh, and here's another one that's a little bit more nearby. I'll scoop that up, then there's the one over there. head back, grab this, and then there was one that was up on top of that wall. Hop, hop, hop. Come on. Hmm, this seemed easier last time. Let's see if we can do that again without getting gruesomely killed. See if... <coughs> Excuse me. And there is, I believe, our foe, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see where uh, Jusargo is. That isn't what I thought it was. So, Karus Reaper, that is the strongest non flying type of Karus, I think. They are extraordinarily. Whoop, did, oh, they're extraordinarily dangerous. Because they are poisonous and strong. And. When I say poisonous, I mean really poisonous. And I think somebody is firing arrows at me. Yeah. Oh, I do want to avoid being snuck on up on by another Karas. Unfortunately, these guys are poisoning their arrows. Shoot, 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 shoot. And when you have a bow, you can't actually use your shield to protect yourself, which is probably pretty realistic. Bows are probably...
kind of distracting weapon. So there's one foe this way, one foe that way. I do not want to be caught unaware by either. But that foe would have to jump off of its platform to reach me. So I think I'm safe to go and try and take care of this foe now. Although this foe might be forgetting about me. I don't know where Jazargo is. I hope that he is okay. So that, that looks like a mineable surface. Uh, I just heard somebody walking up nearby. Ah, yes, that is Jazargo. Ah yes, geode veins. Now, these are supposed to drop soul gems, but there are, yeah, so this one is behaving properly. There are some of these that misbehave and drop um, various other ores, and I think those are bugs in the game. Anyhow, we're going to take care of this statue, but first we are going to grab this Nurn root. So we'll back off, summon, wait until we can bring about, and then let's start the fight. And we're getting some a nice steam back here. And a nice level up, and good. Ruby, glass arrow, looking good, and let's try closing our wounds. Yeah, so close wounds actually takes about half of half of our current level of magicka. So we want to be a little bit selective with how we use it. It's not like an emergency spell that we can just casually use. So much as it is a spell that we at least need to back off a little. Here's another, well, here's some mushrooms, might as well. And up there, there are some foes, which are, uh, or someone is going to try and take care of. Though we can probably make it a little bit easier for him by, oh, well, there was, he was already walking up there. Never mind. Here's another one. Good. So because there are no quick travel markers around here, it's easy to uh, to lose track of where you've uh, where you've been and where you're going. Hmm. One solution is just to follow the roads. I think we've already been here. And this was the home of that alchemist guy who uh, who was killed by uh, killed by the Thalmer. Let's keep on going. And I think I heard. I thought I heard, um, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so eventually you get, uh, you get pretty decent at sp finding these things when they're hollering at you, both down here and in the overworld. Of course they glow too. And that looks like Looks like a chorus. 
so. Ooh. Really, really do not like these things. Gee. Ooh. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of them here, and I really can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so all of them but one have popped. Let's take it. Take this one and. Pop it and hope that one doesn't pop out. No. Good. So it helps if you have good enough uh, sound equipment here that you can easily get a reasonable 3D um, impression of where things uh, are coming from. Since it will help you both with finding Nern Root and identifying when an enemy is nearby. Okay, where was I going? I think it was going this way. Yeah, so these giant jellyfish mushrooms, they are not harmful, they are pretty creepy. Oh, yeah, I had leveled up. A little bit ago. Let's improve our Magicka a bit more. And we're going to take this perk. Now any uh, any spells I cast, they don't make any noise, so monsters will not get the tip off that I'm approaching just because I cast a spell. Now down there, there's another geode uh, vein. And I'm going to get that for yet more soul gems, probably, unless this is one of the bugged ones. Sweet. And with our right hand, we're going to switch this back to candlelight. So there are lots of spidery looking things around here. don't really want to hang out near where spiders could be. Oh, and here's another vein. That's also a Falmer home. But unfortunately, I have to deal with uh, foes. That should be enough that now the Thelmer is going to have to deal with the Atronach rather than me. But I think there might be more Thelmer. Maybe not. Let's see, will the game allow me to mine? No. So there are some Thelmer near enough that... Uh, oh, they're up there. Oh, no, that's not... Those are spiders. Well... It's one less spider. I doubt I can hit the other one without even seeing it, so I'll just duck for a little bit and it will probably forget about me. Maybe. Let's cast Muffle. Sweet. And now I can do some mining. Okay, so I just got a black soul gem. Again, those are pretty awesome because you can capture human souls with them, and human souls are always maximum strength. And by human, I'm using the term very loosely. I guess I really should say the souls of intelligent beings. And let's get back to a bound bow or sword. Okay, there's another one of those, another one of those hunter thingies. 
see if okay it looks like it is absolutely intent on coming up to me so Let's see if Jazargo is willing to hold it off no Got it. Is there another one? Okay, so I think we're actually done with uh, with combat now. Frost Atronach in the left, maybe Muffle in the right. Okay, nobody's hanging out in there. Good. Oh, but I should go visit this dude to grab his antenna. Okay. Looking good. And these are probably the kinds of fish that provide meat rather than crafting ingredients. Yep, looks like it. And up there is a gigantic disco ball. Another Crimson Nern Root. Let's see how we're doing on Crimson Nern Root. We have we have eleven of them, and the quest is to not sure how many we need. Oh, that is not a good sign. Oh no, that that was the sound of my summon going away. Okay, that's okay. Conundrum more. And you can see behind me there's a giant. So apparently some giants must have somehow wandered uh, down here at some point. Maybe the uh, Dwemer brought them. I don't know how... how giants... Uh, and the, and the giant was fighting... Oh, Jizargo. Okay, I don't want Jizargo to get killed, so let's give the giant somebody to fight. Uh-oh. Wait, what was that? I just heard something. Oh, come on. So I don't have enough magicka to summon... Okay. This is not good. Ouch. Although actually I survived a blow. So that's kind of a good sign. Um, it's not ideal, of course, because it's smarter to avoid getting hit if you can avoid it, but... Got him. And I got him before he killed Jusarko. We're actually going to do something else that's pretty dangerous. Uh, but was there anything interesting down here? Ye yes, there's another one of these uh, these guys. So let's summon a friend. Well, where's our friend? Oh, summoned him in the wrong place. Summon a friend down here, and then we are going to take on this. Uh, this thing.
What this really shows is the importance of being able to choose the terms of, uh, of combat. But we are going to head up to that disco ball and um, and use it to start a fight with the dragon that has been hanging uh, around down here for who knows how long. Maybe we should first see what is going on in here. Silent Ruin. Oh, not a lot. It appears to be... Okay, there is a spinny blade thing, I think. And a skill book. We don't really want to step on thing right in front of the book unless we want to get chopped up and I don't think we, we want to get chopped up. Is that it? That might be it and it looks like Jazargo has decided not to follow us inside. Not sure where Jazargo is. Ah, he's there. Okay. So let us head up to the giant disco ball. And I hear apparently we're making enough noise that we're stirring attention up there. Oh. Wisps. Wisps are fairly irritating critters, largely because they're really hard to hit. Fortunately, the uh, things they drop are pretty useful for um, alchemy. But killing them is not the easiest thing in the world. I wonder if we actually have enough Nern Root. Maybe that's why we're no longer getting notifications that that we're making press, uh, quest progress. And the disco ball. I think we need to cross this uh, this bridge. And I think there might be enemies up here. So let's proceed a little bit more slowly. And actually, this seems like a good breaking point. So I will see you in the next uh, next Let's Play.